Hey up everyone, welcome back to the Rugby League History Channel. Today on the channel I'll be doing my tips for round 16 of the 2024 NRL season. If you're new to the channel or new to Rugby League, um, this is a shortened round, there's only 5 matches due to the state of origin taking place next Wednesday. So let's crack on with the first match which kicks off on Friday night. And that first match is Redcliffe against Melbourne. This one's being played at Suncorp Stadium. Redcliffe in fourth at the moment, Melbourne in first. These two sides have only ever met once before, that were last year, and Melbourne won that game. Both of these teams will have players out due to the state of origin. With Redcliffe last week, uh, they had a great start against Cronulla, and then they shut up shop and Cronulla came back and nearly stole it. Melbourne had a tough away win against New Zealand in Auckland. For this match, um, I'm going to tip Melbourne to win by 1-12 points. Although both sides have got players out of the state of origin and that, I just think that uh, without Hamaso, Tabby White for door for Redcliffe, that's a, a big out for them because most of the time he's the one that's kind of the difference between them winning and losing as we saw last week against Cronulla. So I'm going to go for Melbourne to win this game by 1-12 points. I also think just Melbourne's record at Suncorp Stadium, because it's so good, leads me towards Melbourne, so I'm going to go for Melbourne to win this match. And the first match on Super Saturday is between the Gold Coast and New Zealand. This one's being played at Cebu Super Stadium. Gold Coast, bottom of the league, in 17th, and New Zealand in 12th. Gold Coast have been a bit of a bogey side for New Zealand lately, winning 7 out of the last 10 matches between the two sides. New Zealand's record at Seabus isn't too bad. They've played 20 matches there, won 10, lost 9 and had one draw. Last week, Gold Coast had a loss against the West Tigers who were on a 9-game losing streak. And uh, I watched the highlights of that game and the Gold Coast really should have won that one. Um, there was a few times that they made a line break. They made 9 in total, but there was a few times they made a line break. All they had to do was just draw and pass or, or pass to the teammate and it would have been a try. And for whatever reason they didn't and they, they bombed three tries against West Tigers. As for New Zealand, uh, they had a hard fought loss against Melbourne at home. and They got close to winning that game but it just got away from them in the end. For this match I'm going to go for New Zealand to win. I think that um, they've got a lot of their players back now. They're slowly starting to find their groove again. And with the goal course I think they'll be much improved in this match. But I just think that... On paper and how they've been going this year, I think New Zealand's been better. So I'll go for New Zealand to win by 1 or 12 points. The second match on Super Saturday is between Sydney Roosters and Calgary Bankstown. This one's being played at the Central Coast Stadium. In recent times, Eastern Suburbs have had the wood over Canterbury. They've won eight of the last ten matches against them in the league. However, earlier this year, the two sides had a very high scorer match where Canterbury came out on top. Sydney Roosters are currently 5th on the table at the moment, Canterbury in 6th. Canterbury coming to the game off the bye. East had a win over Parramatta. However, they did let a 16-point lead almost slip and turn into a loss. Uh, I think maybe if East would have played against a better opponent, then they probably would have lost the game. Uh, Parramatta had a lot of chances to um, extend the lead and to seal the victory, and they couldn't do so. This is a really interesting clash because... Not only where the, where the teams sit on the table, it's also a rivalry game as well. These two sides go back a very long way. A lot of bad blood between these two clubs. Both sides are going to be affected by state of origin. They're going to have players out. And um, it's going to be a really interesting clash. I've been thinking about it, whether to go for Canterbury or to go for East, because I think it's going to be a 50-50 call for most tipsters. But um, I'm going to go for East to win by 1-12 points. I think this is going to be a really tight game. Could go either way, but I just have a feeling that East will win this match, so I'm going to go for them to win 1-12. And the third match on Super Saturday is between South Sydney and Manly Warringah. This one's being played at Stadium Australia. South Sydney 14th in the league at the moment, and Manly in 8th place. In the last 10 matches between these two sides, South Sydney have dominated the fixture. They've won 8 of those. Both teams are affected by State of origin, uh, Latrell Mitchell's been picked for New South Wales. Uh, Hamoli Olukawatu and Daly Cherry Evans have been picked for their respective states. It's um, it's going to be one of them games where you know both sides are going to have key players out. So 
with South Sydney, they have a bit of a resurgence lately. Um, they're slowly getting some of their players back. They're starting to get some confidence. They're starting to win some games. They had an upset victory over Brisbane last week. As for Manly, um, they had a, a good win against St George and they, they won pretty comfortably in the end. For this match, I'm leaning more towards South Sydney. I know that the Trail Mitchell's a big out for them for State of Origin, but for Manly, they're going to have no Jake Trevojevic, they're going to have no Ola Kawatu or Cherry Evans. And um, People like to go on about Tom Trevojevic being the most important player for Manly, but I think Cherry Evans is the most important and um, they're a totally different side without him. So I'm going to go for South, the resurgent South Sydney side to win this game by 1-12 to 12 points at Stadium Australia. And the final match to close out the round is between West Tigers and Canberra. This one's being played at Campbelltown Stadium. West Tigers in 16th place at the moment and Canberra 7th in the league. Canberra have won 8 matches in a row against West Tigers. The last time West Tigers defeated Canberra were in round 22 of the 2018 NRL season. And I think, you know, throughout their entire history, even when it went back to the Belmain days, Canberra always seemed to have the wood over the West Tigers. With Canberra's record at Campbelltown Stadium, they've played 24 matches there. They've had 10 wins, 13 losses and one draw. Last week with West Tigers, they broke a nine-game losing streak against the Gold Coast. I watched the highlights of that game and I think West Tigers were lucky to win. Gold Coast bombed three tries and uh, they made several line breaks against them and couldn't capitalise. And from all reports of people that watched the game, they said it was one of the worst matches of rugby league they've ever seen in their life. As for Canberra, they had a very disappointing loss against North Queensland at home. They were just outplayed and uh, they came back late in the match, but it was already too little too late. With the state of origin, I don't think that West Tigers or Canberra have had any players picked uh, for the respective states. This is going to be uh, an interesting clash between these two sides. Can West Tigers win two games on the bounce and get further away from that wooden spoon? Or will Canberra bounce back after a disappointing performance? I'm going to go with the latter. I think that's Canberra on paper and how they've been going this year. have been doing much better than West Tigers. I think Ricky Stewart will have them fired up for the game. He did say that he did um, pull aside the players that he thought were responsible for the loss against North Queensland had words with them. So I think that Canberra will be fired up for this game and I'm going to go for Canberra to win 13 plus. So those will be tips for round 16 of the 2024 NRL season. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section below who you're tipping. Thanks to everyone that's been supporting the channel. Uh, once again, the video last week were one of the most watched tipping videos on YouTube. Thanks to everyone that tuned in and commented and liked the video. Anyways, this has been Ruby League History and I will catch you all later in the next one. Alright, ta for now.